Hey guys, this is Daniel from uh, Josh and NESEO. So I know that uh, Joshua spoke to you guys yesterday. So I'm going to see if we can, if there's anything we can help, any tips and tricks that you guys can do to help increase what you guys are doing. So right off the bat, um, I noticed something odd. So I decided to go from ground up. So I went to Luke's Construction, Seattle, Washington, and here we are. So we have Luke's Construction. And then I obviously did check out your Facebook page. On there, you say that you go to multiple areas. So you're going to want to have different areas if you don't already. You're going to want to have uh, multiple of these kind of things, the GMB uh, for those areas, uh, instead of it just being in one location. Uh, if, again, you don't already have it. But now we're going to get on to, uh, you know, the kind of issue that I see happening. So I'm going to go over here to your actual website because that's what clicking on this will lead to. It'll lead to that specific, this specific homepage, which doesn't go anywhere, which means you guys are wasting an entire homepage on nothing. You have a, a number here, you have your email, excellent job on that, but we have tile experts and hardwood experts and nothing to show for it. So here's what customers are doing. They're coming here and they have one of two options to pick from. People are really lazy. You want all the options to be in front of them instead of them having to click on another thing. So if we go to tile experts, we get one, uh, a new URL. So you guys are paying for three domains that you don't need. You should only be paying for one and all the information I get on this should be a page with inside the other domain, just regular lukesconstruction.com instead of lukesconstruction-tile.com. Um, now again, it's done really well, it's done really nice, you have a lot of stuff to offer over here. Um, you are missing a lot of content, there's no footer here with uh, you know different things for you guys to move around on. Um, I don't know why the number is created like this, I'm not gonna say anything. This is, by the way, one of my first times really going through your site, so I'm, I'm doing blind reactions here. You are doing read more, all that. You have some stuff over here. Here's the thing. There's no way I can tell what the location is for any of this stuff. It doesn't let people know. And that's a problem. If you are on your, like I said, Facebook does show that you are all over the place. You have to let people know that they're on a page that's actually in their location, uh, in their area. I guess, you know, the number, if that's a local number, great. Um, let me go back. So if I go back, I went from tile experts. Let me go to hardwood experts. And now we have an entirely new domain name that's, you know, same number and everything. So I don't even know why why we're doing two separate domains here. You should just have that same page that you have before, lukesconstruction.com, and have both of those on there. Uh, pick a home page and then have drop-down menus where they can go to either tile or hardwood floors. And that's how it should be instead of you having, you know, redirects to other things. This is, I'm not going to say anything, but yes, I... A little surprised and horrified at the same time. Um, I like how you do talk about everything. This is great. You guys have excellent sites here, but these aren't what people are clicking on because this is not what they see first. So let me show you what happens on the back end, right? So the first thing, because again, this is something I've never really seen before. This is your first domain, right? Lukesconstruction.com. That's when people go to your Facebook, your Instagram. This is what they're clicking on to find that one page that you have to click somewhere else. So here's the problem is you have three separate domains that you have to rank at this point. Otherwise, what's the point of it? You know, Google's not going to direct people there. Um, so right off the bat, you have no keywords on your homepage because there's no content on your homepage. So Google is never going to put you in a position where people find you first because there's no keywords. And a keyword is essentially, by the way, um, if you have hardwood floor, Seattle, Washington on your web page, you know, Google might rank you for that. And then if somebody types in something similar to that, they can direct them to you. And yes, backlinks and referring domains do help you rank for that stuff. Well, the main reason why you rank for anything, but if you don't have any of the keywords, then you literally have a very nice business card. So that's essentially what I would call, uh, this right over here. Let me go back. This is a great business card. You can print this out and hand it to people, which is really good. Uh, but I'm not trying to be harsh. I'm just like shocked. Uh, not shocked. Yes, I'm shocked. Um, but let's go to the other one, right? ConstructionTile.com, right? This is the other domain you guys are paying for, which means you have to rank this domain separately for somebody to see it. What you could have had is you could have had lukesconstruction.com forward slash location or services slash tile. And that would have been a back page of your home page instead of paying for three separate domains. So here we have a DR rating. A UR rating, by the way, is how strong the website is. So it's not very, there's no rating for it. And a DR rating is how much Google trusts you. And again, it all runs on backlinks. You know, the better backlinks you have. Um, and a backlink, by the way, is where you have your website link somewhere else where somebody can click on it. Referring domain is when it does return back to you when they do click on it. Not all are equal. Some are spammier than others, like BuzzFeed, Wikipedia, stuff like that. So you definitely don't want to go through that. And then finally, we have your organic keywords. Again, there's none on here. And that could just be that, you know, 
you didn't it, within the content there's nothing keyword worthy for google to go through and say hey we want those right so um that's problem number two is you have right now let's go to some before i even tear into this one let's go to the third one luke's construction hardware.com this one's great or not great this one has more information to it so and again this is its own domain so you're paying for it so we have backlinks you have referring domains good job no you are but a little bit of a dr rating so we need to boost these guys up over here um you do have 58 different organic keywords so good you're bringing in traffic for this guy if anything you should put this as the as the home page get rid of loopsconstruction.com um and just you know this could be an excellent back page my, my point Anyway, Luke's Construction Hardware.com. Let's look at the keywords you guys are ranking for. Because you have about, what did it show? You had about like eight, 58 keywords. Um, so I know it says 75 over here. Some of them you probably lost. Um, but none of these are great keywords. Because a keyword you want it to be location specific and service specific so people can find you. Um, if I type in Seattle, Washington flooring, I'm looking for somebody in Seattle, Washington to help me with my floors. So I'm looking when when you're trying to find something, you're going to niche down. You're really going to kind of focus on what's really important. And what's most important is location and service area. So as I'm going through, I'm not seeing anything that references location, which means anyone in the United States, I don't care how high you're ranking up for these guys, because as you can see, 150 people a month are searching for this. You're getting one of them per month and you're in position number six for it. So you're doing you're not doing too bad. And by the way, if you're in the top three, you'll get anywhere from 10 to 20 percent. But what is this? We're finishing Brazilian cherry floors. That's like a blog thing, right? No one cares because there's no location. If you would have had refinishing Brazilian cherry floors, um, Seattle, Washington, it would have been an amazing keyword to have because you know that the people typing that in live there. But right now we just have a bunch of keywords with nothing there. Country white to Russell stain. This looks like a blog almost. C CFM flooring Seattle. Excellent. Okay, that's fine. I don't know what's, uh, what, what a CMF is. I'm assuming it's a it could be a type of floor. Um, but 30 a month searching for it, you're on page number four, so you're not going to get any traffic. Excellent. Hardwood floor refinishing Seattle. Great keyword to have. 250 people a month search for it. You're on page number five, which is why you're not going to get anywhere, which means you need to, to add a little bit more of a backlink profile in order for you to get there. But those are the stuff you want. You don't want any of this other stuff because it's not going to help you. Anyway, sorry, I get passionate when I see stuff like this. Anyway, let's go to flooring Seattle, Washington, right? I'm going to type in this specific keyword. Because most people don't know what you know about the flooring industry. So they're just going to type in flooring and let you talk to them about what may or may not look nice for them. This will allow us to create Google ads because, again, location specific, service specific. So the more specific I can get, the targeted the ad can be. So that's why we have all of this stuff over here. These are the Google ads. Uh, best of Seattle, Washington, hardwood flooring. Uh, as you can see, these are all keywords, by the way, flooring, floor, flooring, Seattle area. Like it, they're very they're being very targeted. But over here is your GMB. That's what it was on this page over here. This is your GMB over here. And you definitely want to get in the top three over here because 30 to 40% of all people searching for anything will click on this. Um, and by the way, usually these are about six minutes long, but because of what I noticed um, and everything I had to go through with the three different domains you have, I now have to, um, uh, well, it took a little longer to go through all that. But anyway, after you get through your GMB, you're going to get over here to your organic search. Anyone can rank here as long as you know what you're doing. And again, the one you're trying to rank is the main page over here, Luke's Construction, but there is no substance to it. There's nothing to it. You can put as many backlinks as you want. It's not really going to help you. So anyway, um, let's go wrong way. Let's go back over to this great flooring, Seattle, Washington. Great. Sorry, flooring store in Seattle. So they have flooring, home services. So they do come out. They do have their own area that they, you know, they, they you can visit. So let's just take a look. Right. Rick Johnson, email Rick Johnson, phone number pictures i don't like this and then not a lot of substance substance here so i don't fully like them for that but let's see how their back end profile is doing and by the way the reason there's no substance is because we're looking at a back page which is essentially what i want you guys to do so that instead of doing greatfloors.com they uh so what you did was is essentially great floors uh seattle.com instead of greatfloors.com forward slash location great floor seattle right so so they have a back page for this but their back end profile is not too bad so they have 18 backlinks for this guy nine referring domains and 87 keywords just for this page alone which is amazing and they're pulling in just for this page 1300 people a month for that now obviously this is not what their entire profile looks like this is just a back page so you just have to beat them in this area you don't have to beat them because if I were to hit domain and I'm going to go on to what the keywords are before I before I show you what the domain looks like, because there's no way in hell you're going to, be able to beat that. 
But these are what the keywords um, are. And if you're very strategic, then you're doing really well with that. So take a look at this. Flooring Seattle, very simple, but it's location and service specific. 600 people a month search for it. They're getting 263 people a month because they're in position two. By the way, there was 157 people difference between one, between two and three. That's how important it is to get into the top three. Seattle Flooring, they got position number two. They're getting way above 10%. This is almost 30%. Well, it's over 30%. Same thing with this guy. So they are ripping apart the top spots simply because they have the correct keywords. And they know exactly what they're doing with the, with the, with the service area that they're uh, working with. Seattle Flooring Stores, Flooring Store Seattle. Everything they're ranking for is an excellent keyword that you would want to be ranking for. Anyway, so how does this really help you guys out? Honest, uh, first, I don't even know where to go with this. I would say combine the other two into one. Um, so lukesconstruction.com and then have it looking something like, if you look in the search bar, what I'm going to do is tile or hardwood. Actually, it would probably look something like this. Services slash hardwood floors. Something like that, right? And that would probably help you help you guys out a lot more instead of paying for three separate domains and trying to rank three separate domains because it's just going to hurt you in the long run because now you have three separate things to focus on instead of one. Um, but anyway, let's move back. How do we really help you out? That's step number one. It's just combining them to one area or focusing on all three the same much. The first page, there's Luke's construction. I, I don't even know what to do with that because there's no way, unless you build it out, there's nothing here for you on that. Um, on top of that, you would want content. Content is key. Within the content, then you can place yourself with keywords. You always want good keywords, just like you saw the other guy doing. Uh, and then last but not least, you're going to want to increase your backlink profile uh, to include excellent, strong referring domains as well. Um, whichever one you want to do it on, great. Take your pick. If people type in something like that, you will show up for that specific um, domain. It doesn't just have to be lukesconstruction.com, but that's this that's the one that I keep seeing on your homepage for like Facebook and stuff like that. That and your GMB. That's the one that shows up. So if you're gonna if you want to go for that one, great. I would strongly recommend you know putting the other two domains within that one and uh, you know just kind of working with one instead of three. Anyway, that's all I got. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Other than that, you have an amazing day. Bye.